Hi, and welcome to our video of 0.4 elements and compounds. So first, we're going to take a look at elements. What you see here before you is the periodic table of the elements. So an element is the simplest form of matter. If you remember when we looked at particle diagrams, elements are just drawn as a circle, and it can be either white. Oh, they shouldn't be touching. It could be just white or dark. Either one of these would be an element. Okay. It cannot be broken down by chemical means. All right, so when we look here at our element, there's no way to break this down chemically into something smaller. All the atoms, the smallest part, we'll get into atoms in the next unit, the smallest part, they are the same. That's why when we draw an element, try to draw each one the same. And they are found on the periodic table. Each one of these here on the periodic table is an element. And they're represented by chemical symbols. So when we look at any one of these, it's a chemical symbol. The H is a chemical symbol for hydrogen. Li is a chemical symbol for lithium. And let's just take a quick look here at something now because it's important to remember this. For each one of these chemical symbols, if you notice, a lot of them is just one letter, and it's capitalized. The ones that are two letters, like here, lithium, the first letter is capitalized, the second letter is lowercase. Okay, and that's something, it's an important thing to distinguish, because this is carbon, this is oxygen, so if you have carbon and oxygen together, it's carbon monoxide, it's big C, big O. There's another element on here called cobalt, and it's big C, little o. So this is different than this. So it's important that we always capitalize the first letter of an element, lowercase the second letter of an element. Okay, next we're going to talk a little bit about compounds. And a compound is when you have two or more elements combined chemically. Right? Remember our particle diagrams. If we have two different elements, when they're touching each other, they're combined chemically. That is a compound. This is not a compound because it's two of the same element. That was our diatomic molecule. All right, continuing. A compound can be broken down by chemical means. If we break this bond between them, we end up with our white element and our dark element. And all the molecules in, the in a compound are the same, which is why we refer to them as a pure substance. Okay, so we have here these two elements combined chemically. This represents a molecule, but it's also a compound because it's two elements combined chemically. Now compounds are not found on the periodic table. Everything on the periodic table was elements. A compound is represented by a chemical formula. Okay, so a chemical formula represents a compound. And the formula tells us two things. It tells us what elements are in the compound and how many of each are in the compound. All right, so for example, table salt, N-A-C-L. Notice N-A is sodium, capital, lowercase. C-L, capital, lowercase, so it's another element, is chlorine. Combined, it's sodium chloride. So this formula tells us that there's sodium in this compound and that there's chlorine in this compound. And since there's nothing here, that means there's one sodium and one chlorine, except we don't write them when it's a one, so it's just NaCl. One that you know, I'm sure, H2O, it's hydrogen and oxygen. And this tells us that there are two hydrogens and one oxygen. Uh, C-A-O-H-2. Calcium hydroxide. We'll learn a little bit more about this later in the year. This tells us that there's one calcium. And since this is in parentheses, just like parentheses in math class, we distribute the two. 
So this tells us that there's one calcium, two times one, two oxygens, two times one, two hydrogens. And to get more complicated, Al2 SO4 3 tells us Al is aluminum, so there's two aluminums. We distribute this, there's three sulfurs, S is sulfur. Three times four, there are 12 oxygens. So, formula has a good amount of information. All right, question time. So for each of these, you have to decide if it's an element or if it's a compound. Remember, an element, if there's two letters in an element, the first one is capitalized, the second is lowercase. If you see capital, capital, it is not an element. All right, so go ahead and hit pause, see if you can answer this. All right, and that brings us to the end of... 0.4 elements and compounds, and I'll see you guys at school.